What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. Everybody's favorite student. <laughs> Everybody's favorite survivor. You know, calls Trump a, tr a draft-dodging coward owned by the NRA. Now, the thing is, I've heard say people say Trump is owned by such and such. And this is the first time somebody says he's owned by the NRA. Hold on, I gotta clean my glasses. I'm not. I can't look up here. Look like that. That Kayla woman yesterday from the New York University. It's better. Face. Uh, Stoneman Douglas challenges the president to prove him wrong. Prove, prove this kid wrong, Trump. Calling the sheriff a coward is so ironic coming from a man who evaded the draft multiple times due to his power and influence. Donald Trump, you're a hypocrite that is owned by the NRA. Please prove me wrong. The sheriff is a coward. I mean, come on, man. Let's 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 keep it keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. He didn't want none of it. Now you can say he he did. I mean, you know, he has a family. He was close to retirement. Whatever. That's all well and good. That still makes him a coward. Come on. I mean, that's what he signed up for. That's what they give them, 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 them sheriff's guns for. He didn't even call the sheriff for cowards. Mr. Trump did not, in fact, call the sheriff for cowards, using that word for Deputy Scott Peterson, implying similar thing about other deputies for their reported staying out of the building during the fatal rampage. You know, um, and it's funny that He'll, he'll, he's against gun, guns, but he wasn't against the Vietnam War. Everybody was against the Vietnam War. This is, this is the, I, I can't even believe how, uh, I'm not saying everyone, the major, a lot of people were, but the left was against the, the now they're for the war. I, I don't even get, get that. You know, uh, my dad served in Vietnam. But if you ask me, I'm like, we didn't, the United States of America had no business over there. That was, that was first, <laughs> that was a, a classic example of imperialism. Imperialism. So how are you going to be some gun control advocate and, and you know, call clown somebody for being a draft dog. You ask me, anybody draft the draft, draft the draft, dodge the draft was pretty smart. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck. You gotta understand, just because they send troops off the war, they're not sending it for the good of the country. A lot of times they're sending it because the bankers say, hey man, you better go, y'all better go and install some central banks over in this country. Or y'all better... We gotta, uh, we gotta take this person out of here. He's not playing ball with us in the banks. He's not playing with us, right? Hey, we'll, we'll, they'll be, they be, they be in the big board meetings, the big meetings, the big buildings. They be like, oh man, you don't fork over this twenty billion dollars annually. We gonna send the, the boys in the United States of America. That's what that's what goes on. I think it goes on just like that. You know, so you gotta be careful. And, and I, I, how can you, like, how can you slander somebody for being a draft dog, and then advocate for uh, gun control and everything else? It, it it's, it's boggles my mind. This guy, and you know, it, it boggles my mind. People, they're, they're letting this guy, this kid, get away with this stuff. <laughs> Y'all know where he was at. When I'm not even saying it. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Peace.